So I promised we were going to show this. This is how we strap the bikes down for the track. Ready? One, two, three. No, you notice, but the rear wheel came off the ground. Stock, it was higher between the fender and the bottom of the fairing than my hand. Now, strapped down fully, I can barely squeeze my fingers through there. We want to try to squeeze everything out of this bike that we can. Try that one more time, Mike. One more. This is my longtime friend, Mike Davis. Known him since he was born. <laughs> uh, we always get accused of putting ringers on our bike, which of course we do because it makes the bikes faster. But for this particular instance, we're going to put normal size. Are you normal size? I would say I'm I would consider average. him a little bit above average. Um, we just weighed him leathers to a four five. Um, so for all the you guys that say that. I'm too big to go fast. He's 205. He's never ridden this bike before. When was the last time you rode a thousand down the track? A year or two, it's not a cool thing. Yeah, a couple years. Uh, he's been riding a ZX14, which is a lot easier to ride, especially stretch. So we may have a little bit of a learning curve here. We're good with that. We'll work through it. Uh, the biggest thing is, is shake the bike down, see what it needs. Mike has always been a really good rider um, and good at telling me and telling other people what the bike needs. Uh, he's also a good enough rider to where sometimes he'll ride around that, so we'll have to get our communication there. Um, we'll just give it a shot and see what happens. We don't know what about the track, we don't know about the bike, but you gotta start somewhere. Once you start somewhere, then you know what direction to go. Mike's going to change his riding style a little bit more, try to get it to leave a little bit harder and uh, basically involved and then caught. Yeah. Uh, started to wheelie a little bit on him, so we'll try it again like this and see what we get. So here's where we are. When we changed the gearing, I dropped two teeth, starting somewhere. <laughs> Went from a 45 tooth down to a 43, left the stock alone because I thought that would be good for a smaller rider. We got Mike on the bike. Mike, Mike is a larger rider, and he's still having a problem getting the gas all the way, uh, all the way pinned between first and second gear. The only thing we can do there is pull a tooth off, and we don't have it. <laughs> so, um, Mike's just going to try to alter his riding style to get the bike to go as quick as he can. Maybe a little bit lower this time. I don't think a thousand or two less. Drive through the wall. Drawing a little. Uh, trying to get the gas open. Trying to get the gas open. If it, uh, on the last pass, it wheelie right off the start. And if you're already wheelie and trying to get into the gas more, it doesn't work out. So, we tried something new on the second pass. That's what the right way. Yeah. Bike's fast. Bike is fast. <laughs> Very fast. Two bad passes, 154 miles an hour and a quarter with a 205 pound suited rider. We don't have a power problem, we have a power control problem. Squat down. That's better. That's really as stiff as it goes. Yeah, now I can feel it. I mean, we're gonna have to run with it. That's, yeah. I mean, I can put, I can put more spring preload in it. We'll try one like this. If not, then we'll put a click into it. Straight down. Try and get your P light on your toes so I can hold your body weight. 
that's right where it's supposed to be. Another question I always get, Brock, what should I do to my stock shock? Well, on this particular bike, we just made adjustments for his rider weight. Now we, we still have a little bit more spring preload we can go to, but we have basically cranked the compression all the way, cranked the rebound all the way, just to get this thing to stiffen up to try to get it not to squat as much, so hopefully it won't wheelie as much. But as far as adjustment goes on that shock, we're out of it. We are out of rebound and out of uh, compression damage. drive out I try to torque it out and drive through the bog and then get the throttle open which I did for the Monarch came. That's a Oh yeah I mean it's still almost went 125 in the eight. Right. That's fast. 155 I mean if you get the thing you get the thing to leave it's got 20 teams in it. it does. It's gonna have to figure out where to get it. Yeah. No it does. And it, honestly I feel bad of the tooth on it. I thought you own I mean, I don't know if I could go like, 90s. I don't see me doing it tonight, but I feel like I could go 90s on it for the crazy oh, yeah. Yeah. stock, the way it sits. And I think that would be your mark. This thing could go 90s oh, like this. Oh, yeah. It's got it in it. It just needs to sprout. Yeah. 